And I am very excited because I am a big Sir girl, for some of you who know that, to welcome Toby Roland Jones. And Toby is the president and founder of the Big Sur Food and Wine Festival, which is happening next week. So he's here to tell us all about it, tell us why he does what he does, why he's passionate about it, and why we should care and why we should go. So Toby, welcome. Thank you, Paula. I appreciate being here. Yeah, I'm delighted that you're here, even though you had to fight some traffic to get here. Yeah, I had to fight some traffic and just on deadline for everything right now. Well, and you're very gracious to come and give us a little bit of, of your very busy time. Well, I do. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Well, it's good to see you, and, and I'm happy to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about the festival. I know that you had a dream. Tell us about that dream. Um, a little bit of background, um, I've been involved in the wine and food industry for a long time and uh, I helped run a lot of uh, festivals, um, food and wine festivals, uh, the Central Coast Wine Classic and uh, most importantly the uh, Masters of Food and Wine mm. at the Highlands uh, for a number of years. I ran the sommelier crew mm -hmm. uh, for that and um, four years ago I came home from an event I thought, you know, why don't we run an event in Big Sur and let's do this. raise money for the community <laughs> and let's let's see what we can manifest and I mean Big Sur is, is so full of incredible chefs mm. and I mean you literally every place has a really really talented uh, personality in the kitchen and some great wine lists both uh, Ventana and the Post Ranch the Big Sur Bakery have really exquisite wine lists and Deachins too I mean a very very small place but they've got a great wine list that mm -hmm. matches the food. Mm -hmm. So why not create a, a fun event, invite just our friends, yes. um, and that is... We only like to hang out with our friends. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't like hanging out with people no. I, don't, I don't like. No. Um, fun people. So it was basically to have people come to Big Sur, uh, enjoy the ambiance, and it was a sort of a reward for our winemaker friends mm -hmm. at the end of harvest, mm -hmm. because next weekend, just about everybody will be completely done with harvest. Right. So the festival, give the dates now, and I'll have you give them again at the end of the program. It starts on uh, Thursday um, at the Highlands Inn. Thursday uh, the... First of, first November. of November. So that's next Thursday, right. and runs through Sunday the 4th. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the event takes place in a variety of venues. Well, we start, we do a magical mystery tour. Uh, which is a really fun event. That's a luxury shuttle bus uh, starting at the Highlands Inn uh, in the afternoon on Thursday the 1st. Um, and uh, running concurrently with that is a fabulous tasting featuring Josh Jensen of Calera, ah. uh, one of the greatest Pinot Noir producers. Mm. And then that evening we have the Gateway to Big Sur, and that's presented uh, by the Hyatt Carmel Highlands. So is that a, a dinner event? Is that no, a, it's a, a, it's a food walk around. A walk around? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, did you ever go to any of the Masters? Oh, yes. Well, the opening night was just a lot of wineries and a lot of uh, great chefs. And it's going to be just like that. In fact, the Wonderful. Highlands has not opened up the Pacific's Edge and uh, the Logos and Fireside Lounges uh, to a group like this since the Masters. I didn't think so. so. Well, yeah. kudos to you. Well, thank you. We're, we're very, very honored, and uh, I really appreciate all the work that the Highlands and Hyatt staff have done. I mean, it's been remarkable. Yeah, well, it's a tremendous amount of work. So why do you care, Toby? Why do you do this? Uh, I've always been involved in, in service, uh, not restaurant service, although mm -hmm. I've done that. Mm -hmm. um, it's service to my community. Um, I helped uh, with the Big Sur Jazz Fest when that was there. I sat on a, a small ad hoc environmental group when I moved to Big Sur. Uh, when I lived in San Francisco, I was on a, a number of boards for various nonprofits. Um, I was a firefighter in Big Sur for 16 years. So I, I really believe in service. Mm -hmm. And to create this, bring my friends together mm -hmm. um, to help work on the event. And Some people will do anything for a party. Absolutely, they will. <laughs> And uh, believe me, my committee this year, I'm going to have to reward them. They have, because of, of the, the Highlands and the Push Ranch coming on board uh, to really work with us, we've had so much more work to do this year. Well, it's an amazing committee. I, yeah. I took a look on the website. And give the website, too. Some people like to follow along uh, the program. Uh, look online. What is the website? BigSurFoodAndWine.org. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So you spell the and. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. So BigSurFoodAndWine.org. And what brought you to Big Sur and how long ago was that? It was 21 years ago. I was in San Francisco uh, in the restaurant business. And actually I had a restaurant. It uh, collapsed. Uh, well, it didn't completely collapse, but it folded uh, just immediately after the earthquake. We were ah. in an area that was affected by the earthquake. So um, I gave up my ownership in that. I uh, went into public relations and I had been coming to Big Sur. 
uh, on and off over the years. Mm -hmm. And I had a few friends uh, down in mm -hmm. down in the Bixa area, and I was invited to go work at Nepenthe. So I was done with San Francisco. I love the city. I still go back up oh, there. Yeah. And, um, I'm involved in a, a business up there, and uh, I just yeah, as soon as I heard that I had the job, I was done. Oh, that's ten good. days. Yeah, you I was were, in Big Sur. You were there. Well, yeah. what a place to land. I know. Talk absolutely. about talk about God's country. Yeah. That's, well, I'd always wanted to live there. Yeah. So it, it was a dream. Well, I was fortunate to grow up on the um, Big Sur coast in Palo Colorado Canyon. Beautiful down there. So Beautiful. I uh, really have my roots that yeah. go very deep there, and a lot of love for for the coast and the the coast people and mm -hmm. the spirit of the people. Yeah. So talking about the people, where do the funds go? Well, that you um, raise with the festival. I'm going to boast a little bit. Please um, do. Our committee, uh, through the hard work that, that we've put together and, and the great events, uh, in three years we have now raised over $65,000. Toby, that is amazing. Thank you. Amazing. We're very, you should, very proud of that. You should be very proud yeah. of yourself. And we're going to keep doing that. Uh, the funds go towards, uh, all, well, not all of the local uh, Big Sur nonprofits, but all the five schools. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the health center, we've donated to the fire brigade, mm -hmm. uh, the Henry Miller Library that is hosting um, some of our events. Uh, I call the Henry Miller Library the, one of the greatest social um, and artistic centers uh, in California. Yes. I mean the, the things that they do down there are extraordinary. Phenomenal, yes. Yeah. Um, so there are those and last year uh, from three years of funding or putting into a scholarship fund we were able to help a young lady go to um, the Culinary Institute of America. And she is now working for Cal Staminoff at Bernardus. Well, that is pretty fabulous. And so she's going to come and do, she's going to come and do one of the dishes during, during one of the events. Wonderful. Yeah. So this, you've really changed a life here. Yes. Yes. I, I like to think so. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I think you probably have. So, so tell me more about this young lady. Wh who is she? Why did she get in touch with you? You get in touch with her? Uh, her name is Erica Duarte. Um, she was working at the bakery. Um, she just had a passion for cooking. And we, we started to do this uh, during the auction um, every year. I'm, I'm the auctioneer. Mm -hmm. uh, and quite a good one, I will add. Oh, thank you. Having seen you in action. <laughs> <laughs> um, during the auction, we did a fund a need, mm -hmm. um, which basically is just saying, who will put up money for this scholarship? Uh -huh. And so we raised seven thousand dollars, and um, uh, we put out the word that uh, we had these funds. Who would like to nominate somebody? And uh, the owners of the Big Sur Bakery said, "Hey, we have Erica here, and she's really talented, and she has a scholarship uh, because she's so good to the CIA." That is amazing. And so we were able to cover quite a lot of her expenses. I mean, seven thousand dollars is a substantial amount, I like to think. Oh, it absolutely but is. But in New York, I mean, that could be gone in a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> that could be gone in an evening. Yeah, my God, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that is just incredible yeah. that you've made a difference in, I mean, you've made a difference in many people's lives, but, but so particularly that young woman. And, mm -hmm. and who knows where she'll go and what exactly. she'll bring back to the community as a result of that yeah. and, and so forth. Well, she wants to con continue and go to uh, Greystone um, oh. up in Napa. Fantastic. So if she gets into that, um, gosh, you know, when, once you get done with that, the sky's the limit. Really. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely it is. Yeah. So go back and tell us more about the events of the festival because you have a lot of exciting things planned. 22 events is over that all? four days. <laughs> That's all. Just a, you know, we're just putting on a small weekend. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I told you about the, the Thursday events. And yes. then Friday we have a uh, Pinot and the Muse, mm -hmm. which is absolutely an extraordinary event. A, a local uh, resident in Big Sur. Um, is sponsoring that and uh, gives enough money to buy some absolutely extraordinary wines. The concept of that is we have these uh, Pinot Noir producers mm -hmm. who are showing their wines, but they're also um, showing the Muse, the wine that originally inspired them. So oh. actually for, um, I believe it's $48 for that, uh, they're getting wines worth hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just yes. looked at the bill for what we're buying and I'm going, no! <laughs> But, but somebody it. sponsored it, so it, oh, it's good. And but, bless uh, them we've for got doing some, that. Got some great wines, and then a Pinot walkabout following that at the Post Ranch Inn, and that'll be 30 of our favorite uh, Pinot Noir producers: um, Shock Family, which is local yes. uh, cheesemakers, yes. uh, Point Reyes Creamery, and uh, the folks from the Tap House in Big Sur. And that'll be a, a stroll around uh, in the gardens at the Post Ranch.
Oh, that'll be and, wonderful. And um, then a magical mystery tour. Um, and then in the evening, we have um, the wine and swine at the Henry Miller <laughs> Library. The Where's wine you? and swine. Wine and swine. We've got Br Chef Brian Overhauser from Hahn Estates yes. and Jim Birch from Del Monte Meats. Yes. And they're great sponsors of ours. They're providing a lot of protein during the week. And they're going to get up on stage and they're going to do a carve off. What I like to call not uh, Iron Chef, but Stainless Steel Chef. Okay. So, so they're, they're going to go up against each other and basically they're going to get half a hog each and they're going to see who can butcher it best and quickest. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And well, then we're going to auction uh, those halves off and we're going to have a little cooking competition, but uh, that's, gonna, that's a secret right oh, now. Oh, okay. Well, I won't, no. I won't spill your secret But we yet. also have other chefs coming in um, to cook pig in five different ways. Uh -huh. And uh, Del Monte Meats is supplying all of our pig, which is amazing. Wonderful. So we'll, that's very close to being sold out. That'll be 150, 170 people for that. Wonderful. And then Saturday we have the auction lunch, uh, which is uh, unfortunately sold out. I mean, it's, I wish I could pack in 250 people to that because it's going to be extraordinary. And that'll also be at the post ranch. Um, and then immediately following that, uh, we have the uh, Grand Public Tasting uh -huh. um, at the post ranch property, right near the pond. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Lexus is sponsoring that, and we're very, very happy to have them come on board and, and help us. Um, really? It's, it's really phenomenal in, in our fourth year to have such a big sponsor do that. It's, it's, it's really incredible. So we can now offer a beautiful, beautiful tent. Um, and we have now 54 wineries and uh, 16 chefs for that. My goodness. Yeah. And we just yesterday, we had a beautiful, huge dome uh, donated by a, uh, a woman who just moved to the area recently. And uh, she's donating this massive dome uh, as a luxury lounge. So that'll be fabulous. That will be set up on the... It'll be set up right next to the big tent. Yeah. My goodness. It's, it's a gorgeous. I believe it's from Germany, but it's really a stunning, stunning piece of, well, it's you, a geodesic dome. That's just incredible. Yeah. And you know what this tells me on many levels, Toby, is is your passion and your commitment to your community and to people in, I love in people. general. Yes. I, I do. I mean, I, I, I just, I, I like people. I, I see the inherent good in just about everybody. And as I said, I just like to be of service to my community. It's, well, it's and in, in so doing, you're serving the world with through the ways of, of having this young woman go out and mm -hmm. go to the Culinary Institute and go on in the world and all the good that comes back to to the work you do, you know, through the fire and, and the monies that go throughout mm -hmm. Big Sur and, yeah. and it's been a, a challenging time. True. And you know, oh, to have people come out and give and, and I would really suggest to our viewers, please just honor those sponsors. I mean they are so gracious and they're so giving please honor them, please attend these events because um, this is how this makes this all keep happening. And I'm so, so appreciative of you, Toby, and your time and oh, you. you know all the work that you've been doing. And I'm looking forward to coming to some of those events myself. Oh, good, absolutely. So, we'll, we'll so that, that will be fun. So give us the information again of B how people contact you. BigSurFoodAndWine.org or they can call me directly at 831-869. 1341. And that is Toby's cell phone, I believe. It is. So that's yeah. very Get personal right and very private yes. information, which no, we've, that's just, all right. we've spilled the beans. Give it yeah. again. 869-1341. Wonderful. Excellent. Toby, thank you so much. It's just Paula, been, thank you very been, much indeed. been a joy, it's and I hope you. that you're going to have every success, and I know you will. Thank I you very much. Will. I appreciate it. Yes.